<sighs> it's time for me to speak the truth. I've said this a while back. And I've said this before. A lot of these other content creators that are telling you the same thing about Jake Brendel. Me and 49er Miner have said this shit. Jake Brendel is pure trash. Cut our losses. Move on. Save over $3 million. His contract is year to year. So he technically signed a four-year deal, but that money isn't huge guarantee money for this guy. So you can cut him, and you're going to save $3 million right now. You can save three freaking million dollars right now by cutting Jake Brendo. And you can go find a suitable center. Go go re-sign John Feliciano. He can go play center. Or go sign one of the free agent centers. Or uh, go draft a center, man. I mean, you can do better. It's not only him being one of the weakest spots on our offensive line. There's quite a few dudes out there. There's McKivitz. There's Burford. But they're more serviceable backups, you know? That's okay with them being backups at that point. Brendel just isn't good enough. Brendel's trash. I've said this before. And I just think it's time for us to move on. Get a better center, man. I don't like this center. This center is fucking soft. He's trash. And, you know, I forever own this guy on Twitter. Because he can't take criticism right. And he's not that good. So why not you cut your losses, man? Hey, I rather trade Jake Brendel for a bag of for a bag of shit because he's garbage, man. That's how bad I want this guy gone, man. Jake Brendel is so bad, I rather trade his bum ass for a bag of fucking shit because he's garbage, man. That's how bad. I think we need to cut our losses, man. And there's other options. There's better options at center than Brendel. Brendo is just an adequate starter. He's supposed to be more of a backup. He has been a journeyman for a reason because he's not good enough. He only had an alternate season because of our talent. Let's be honest. If he was on a really bad team, this guy would have been cut. This guy would have been out of the lead by now. But for whatever reason, we kept him around because we make him look good. He, he's trash. I mean, he misses his assignments. Sometimes he doesn't know how to fucking read the fucking play sometimes because when you are the quarterback of the offensive line, you're supposed to communicate with the protection, and he cannot fucking do that shit. How do you think a lot of the pressures have come into? Because of fucking Brendo. He's supposed to communicate with fucking Burford on the blocking assignment. If you want to blame it on Burford, that's fine. But who's supposed to be the one letting them know who to block? The fucking center. When you play center, you're supposed to let your other man know who he's supposed to block. That's how it should be. And instead, he could have came right up to Burford and tell him, bro, hey, block this dude. Or anybody, dude. There could have been other ways that Brendel could have got the job. He could have read some of the fucking blitz too, but he couldn't fucking do that shit. And it, it's not majority of his fault, all right? But you get the point. He's supposed to be the one telling them what they got to do. Because when you're the center, you're the leader of the offensive line. You're supposed to lead the team with the protection and all that stuff. But if you don't, that's on you. Not technically your responsibility, but that's on you for not giving them the communication. You got to communicate, which he doesn't do. So he's got to go. Yeah, I want him gone. It's time for us to cut our losses. Cut Jake Brendo and get his ass out of here for once.